tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. And I remember when I was young, I used to listen to radio all the time. And I had a fav favorite uh, TV show, American Top 40. And there was a DJ host who always ended his show with the line, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Let's take a moment to take a look at that line. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Today, I want us to focus on that theme because now more than ever, it's important for us to keep our feet on the ground, to be grounded on strong values and um, the right way of living because we are living in a crisis. And there's nothing like a crisis that wakes you up to reality. And that means that um, we must look for a more practical strategy in life so that we will be able to tide over this current situation of ours. It's very important that uh, we live it one day at a time, not overthink about the future, um, and make sure that uh, we maximize each day and be productive, keep our health intact, keep our mental and emotional health intact. And also, um, we must be uh, prudent so that we do not um, overindulge in watching the news or, you know, being so depressed about what's going on. And also be very careful because we when we do our chores and when we do when we go out of our comfort zone that the virus is still there we still have to be careful the artist spirit cannot be suppressed and again this is from tita bibot i'll never forget because now that um he's not with us right she, that's why we all we can, we can also think that some people people actually don't die when we die we become stories and I have a million stories, so that so has everyone who's ever been under her. Um, you, you do it, ano eh, sabi nga niya, no one's stupid enough to theater for money. Um, but it's, you know, sabi nga, your talent tree is a measure of your your worth as an actor, so and so. But now that there's really no, ano eh, there's no performance normal uh, no live performance the normal avenue for expression or for uh, live performance they're not they're just not there so question what do you do well guess what it won't be suppressed it's gotta go somewhere <laughs> and we have to find ways to make it good and still um still make things beautiful we can make our pain beautiful we can make suffering beautiful because that's our job that's our job as artists we yes. take uh, a mirror of yes. the world and sh and tell the truth. This is what you look like. like that. Yon, yon aking, ano, those are my impressions. If you have the if you have the intention to save, no? then you have to be mindful about how much you earn and how much you're spending. Because you have to track you, know? you have to track your expenses instead of for example uh, eating out Syempre, ngayon, medyo mahirap na. <laughs> Pagkatapos nito, no? eating out three times or a week or every every day, kakain kayo sa labas, baka pwedeng once a week na lang, di ba? So, maghahanap tayo ng mga areas sa ating spending o pinagkagasos kung saan tayo pwedeng mag-save. At kung mag-increase naman yung ano natin, yung income natin, huwag natin i-increase yung spending natin. No? We don't have to... It's very important that, that we stress the fact that because of the pandemic, and because um, we are all stuck at home, we cannot go out. Uh, and, yes. and, and a lot of us have no jobs or have lost their jobs or their contracts. I like this particular slide because this is important. To reinvent yourself and go digital. That's a very, very important lesson about the pandemic. Having savings and liquidity at the time of crisis is very important that's really the first thing that everybody looked at when the ecq or the lockdown happened when this whole pandemic began <clears throat> now 
in the event that, uh, of course, we cannot anymore look back, we can only move forward. No? So it's important, ladies and gentlemen and friends, that, you know, um, we must take stock of our current situation. If you are jobless, ang, ang advice ni May is um, try to look for other means of income as fast as you can. Go digital, attend webinars, retool yourself, try to look at similar uh, uh, functions or uh, positions that would be fitting to your skill set. If not, uh, be flexible. Try try something different. Follow your passion. If you cook, why don't you do something that's home based? Try a, a a business, no? If you can, no. But the point is, you must look at yourself. Do a self assessment. Do not go into something you don't understand. That's why you need to consult uh, with someone. Yes. Uh, Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.